Now, closer to home, the annual Cancer in Iowa report estimates about 21,000 Iowans will be diagnosed with cancer this year alone. Iowa does have the fastest growing rate of new cancers and the second highest rate of new cancers in the country. When it comes to treatment, clinical trials are sometimes the best ways to prevent, detect, and treat cancers of all types and stages, but finding those trials can be overwhelming. It's why the Iowa Cancer Consortium has created an online resource with a comprehensive list of where to find clinical trials in the state. One of the health partners that collaborated on this was the Genesis Cancer Center right here in the Quad Cities. And we are now joined by Kelly Sittig, Executive Director of the Iowa Cancer Consortium, and Mimi McKay, Clinical Research Manager at the University of Iowa Healthcare Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center. Ladies, thank you both so much for being here with us today. Mimi, why don't we start with you? People might think that clinical trials are only a last resort option, but that's really not the case, is it? That's correct. That is a common uh, misconception. And uh, there are clinical trials that are available at uh, various stages of patients' uh, cancer uh, diagnosis journeys. And there are also uh, prevention trials as well as supportive care trials looking at better ways to manage some of the side effects that patients have during their treatment, like fatigue um, or low appetite. So more involvement in these trials could better cancer research as a whole for the larger population. So do you have an example of a trial right now that someone would come to the Holden Cancer Center for? I would actually encourage folks to go to the website that the Cancer Consortium has pulled together, um, showing all of the trials available or many of the trials available in the state of Iowa where those trials are. Um, patients can search by diagnosis and uh, you know, gather that information and have a conversation with their healthcare providers whether any of those trials are right for them. Hmm. I guess that brings me to you, Kelly. I mean, finding those trials is not always easy. You have now gathered with this new resource, you know, a list of trials all in one spot. Why is that so important for patients? We know that being faced with a cancer diagnosis um, and choosing treatment is already overwhelming enough for uh, Iowans and the people who are giving care to them. Um, so this group of partners that included Genesis and the Holden Conference of Cancer Center, the Iowa Cancer Consortium and others across the state wanted to make sure that it was easy for folks to find where cancer clinical trials are happening in the state and better find information about trials that might work for them. Hmm. And Kelly, how did you come about this partnership with places like Quad Cities Genesis Cancer Center? Yeah, you bet. Well, the Iowa Cancer Consortium is our state's cancer control partnership. And what that means is that we are a group of 650 plus people here in Iowa who are interested in working together to make cancer less of a burden here in our state. And Genesis Cancer Center is one of those partners. And so when Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center started convening people and partners around this issue of clinical trials, um, we knew that Genesis could be at the table and would be an important uh, partner for that. And they absolutely have been. Um, so the partnership uh, definitely started within the Iowa Cancer Consortium, but it's really that partnership between all 650 members, including people from Holden, including people from Genesis and the other uh, treatment centers that were involved in this website. Wow. Well, in just the few seconds that we have left, it's been a few months since this resource went live online. Have you heard from patients? I mean, how effective has it been? We definitely know that the, the partners who have been involved in putting the resource together um, are promoting it through their own centers. So, um, and we have seen an increase in visits to the site. So we know people are looking at it, but like anything, we also know that it takes time uh, for change to happen and for people to become aware of these things. And so we're committed to continuing to, to let both patients and providers and um, other caregivers know about the resource so that we can hopefully make things a little bit easier for people who are facing cancer. Well, Kelly, Mimi, I cannot thank you enough for your time today and for the work that you're doing. I mean, how important is this? Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.
For you guys at home, to check out this online resource or learn more about the Iowa Cancer Consortium, you can head over to our website and click on the As Seen on TV tab.